guys, welcome back to another uh, video. And today, we're going to be showing off the fine storage mod. Now, this mod requires, like, a bunch of redstone. Well, you don't do redstone, but it's, it's kind of like redstone and complicated, kind it's, of. It's redstone flux. Yeah. So, um, yeah, if you heard that voice, it's not me. Um, it's my, my friend Jack here now. He, um... If you want to go check his channel out, Jack97621, um, you can go check that out. And I recommend it. Yeah, and I recommend it too. So, um, Jack, let's so let's see this. So, so we start out. The first thing you're going to want to craft is a controller. Controllers are crafted using some quartz, rich iron. So basically, you're just going to need four quarts, no, eight, um, no, three quarts, I don't know, you're going to need some quartz and rich iron, which is made using that, and some silicon, which is made by smelted quartz, and then a, a diamond and a machine casing, which is just an empty thing of quartz. So this thing runs off of RS or RF, and right now we've just got a creative controller because we don't have any mods that generate RF. And so the first thing, the next thing you're going to want to craft is a solderer. Now a solderer is just some quartz and rich iron and some sticky pistons, which means you're going to need slime balls, which are not fun, but Tinker's Construct makes it easier. This is an automated setup of the, of the solderer with crafters and then an importer. And you should put speed upgrades in there because it's really slow. These are the importers and exporters, and we'll get to those crafters later. So the import exporter is some cable, which is just like that, and a construction core, which is some glowstone, and a basic core, which is that, and printed silicon is just silicon, and printed basic processor is just iron. And the importer is much the same recipe. Uh, oh yeah, they both required. Um, improved cores which is just gold instead of iron and this one requires a destruction core which is just quartz the okay it's finally day it's it's right now we just have it to import and export and this is the destructor and the well these are all the grids this is basically the meat of the mod you need two gold processors instruction core and construction core machine chassis and some more quartz and rich iron you have the crafting one which is the one i recommend which is just a crafting table a diamond processor since it's just diamond and a grid which is the one we saw before pattern grid requires a pattern which is made by doing that a food grid is probably a bucket as far as i know unless they've changed the recipe up a bucket and then this I don't know what this recipe is. It's just an improved pro a gold processor, some glass, and a machine casing. So, yeah, that's those are all the grids. This is how you interact with your, your network. It's crafting grid, it does all that, and you can craft in it and stuff. And then you have pattern grid, the fluid grid, which allows you to store fluids and take them out and stuff. The, uh, the normal grid, which is pretty lame and I don't recommend it. The pattern grid, which allows you to do some of the auto crafting stuff. The crafting monitor, which shows you what is currently in progress. And then this is the storage. So you have, so basically the storage is made using parts. So you, so to make, there's two things. There's the disk drive and the machine, the storage block. The, the, so you need, you need a 1K storage card, which is just some silica and some quartz and rich iron, and that, and then you can also make a disk drive, which is simple, to a diamond processor also, you know. And then you need one of these, which is either a storage, basically just this recipe, and this requires a 1K storage part. It can be upgraded all the way, all the way up to 64 quarts case storage parts and a, they are significantly more expensive but they do store more stuff. This is a crafter, construction core, two diamond processors, so they're kind of expensive 
but they are pretty good. So basically what I can do is I'm going over to this pattern thing and I'm going this pattern grid and I'm going to say oh uh, I don't know let's say something like um let's teach it how to craft a block of diamonds okay because I'm going to be going into a vibe or something so I put this in here you can put speed upgrades in this crafter which we'll get to upgrades later and so now we have a recipe for it but we need diamonds obviously and diamond I have not yeah I synchronized it but da, 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 da. Okay, now diamond, and we get diamonds. Oh yeah, did I mention this not has JI compatibility? It does. And so we can take out this block of diamond, and now we can craft like 10 diamond blocks. And, oh no, we don't have enough diamonds, but we can still start it, and without the control ingredients by crafting control shift or command shift, whether you're on Mac or PC. And it will automatically craft it, and then it will complain about it when just click cancel off. And then, so we can do that. That's all the crafting. We have the automatic block printing and breaking, which is ideal for river farms, which you need later game in pretty much every mod pack nowadays. And then, we go, there are some other things like wireless, but I don't think they're that important, honestly, and they're kind of self explanatory. <laughs> so it should be fine. We're going to so, so that's so that's going to be fine. Um it has pretty much it. It's very compatible. Um pretty much it. Sorry for that awkward. Um, there's disk manipulation, writers and readers, there's a detector which acts as a level emitter, interfaces, wireless transmitters, no, network transmitters, there's wireless crafting grids, so you can do that and then you can do the wireless manager thing, which you just replace on top of the cable. It only goes on the upside by the way, which is weird, but whatever. And we go over, is it not this machine? I think we just, on um, this machine, I forget. How do we connect this? Hmm. I do not know, but it's, oh wait, maybe we should click on it. Huh. Whatever. And this runs off of RF, so we're going to need another RF generating thing. That's pretty much it. It's all for refined storage. It's just a good mod. I'd recommend it to solve all of your storage needs. And it can work for things like bow and arrows too. So that'd be it. And I'm going to send the intro to Isaac. What do you so, um, dude, I think that's it for today. And, um, that's, that. Right there, what you just saw, um, you can craft whatever you like, a bunch of them, if you have the right amount of things, and that's hashtag pro skills there, um, so I will see you dudes later, bye bye